you remember we looked at the bump? Yeah, hey, those anal glands were yeah. kind of Well, weird so swollen. let's have a look, you know, I mean, okay. he's been licking after them, like, you know, it's, oh, okay. and it's swollen. Okay. I know there is some discomfort, so hopefully we can figure out what's going on and uh, a remedy to this situation. Just gonna get a glove on, have a closer yeah. look at that. Mushers like Michael are highly attuned to their dogs and quick to notice when there's a health problem. So last time when he was here and we looked at those, there was not too much swelling really. We expressed the anal glands and it looked kind of icky. Yeah. And now there's a big swelling. Did you notice a couple of them? Yeah. So this is my biggest concern. These growths that are yeah. non-mobile, that are, that are quite big, there's yeah. at least three or four of them. Yeah. It, it looks more like a tumor now. Um, there's, there's several different growths that are kind of fixed in place there. Yeah. Um, around the anal glands and even above it as well. Right. Um, and those usually tend to spread. There's three very large growths actually all around the anus and um, they're quite firm. They're quite like embedded in the tissue around there. We need to get a sample of those, um, maybe even a, a full on biopsy of tissue. Well, the tumors can be benign or they can be something more serious and right. I can't really tell just looking at it. So I'd say before we go too much further, we should probably do a bit of blood work. That yeah. might be the fastest thing. Perfect. Okay, yeah, all right, let's, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You bet. And also, I just want to make sure it's not just an abscess. So if I poke it and pus comes out, then we sure. also have a little different. Yeah. Easy, boy. Easy. Boy. You're going to be okay. Michelle's concerned that it could be cancer. If it means surgery, we would have to discuss like what it would do for Miracle. I'm hoping we can find some kind of uh, medication that will help reduce the inflammation. That would be my preferred option. I mean, Miracle and I have been together for 15 years. So I'm just going to uh, clean up the area a little bit and then do a little fine needle biopsy, or I put the needle in a few times, get some cells, and have a look on a slide. Sometimes you can see cells that look really odd, and sometimes you can't. But if you see something, that gives you some good information. We're both kind of hoping for, you know, some benign growths, but got to give it to him straight up. So Michael, this is not looking all that great. 